next i'm going to discuss what using union function in power bi with example so here for union i'm going to import some files so clicking there and now importing go the files so first here file one this is the content inside there click on this load now here you can see data view and this is here file one okay after that the uh, or taking other files so file or uh, type can be different but column should be same so it has two contents so two table first going to combine so for this one here this two table or there okay so next to uh, we need to here go to another tables so clicking on the new table and on the new table giving the name meaningful name you should give union table okay and after that here we have the function called union and inside there passing to or uh, to or to or table is there okay so first is now file one and next is file two so before I'm going to do that, so let's see the file one content. So this three columns are there. Sorry, file one, three columns are there, and inside file two, or uh, three columns are there. Okay, so column must be same for union, and union going to come. Okay, so when I press enter, so here you can see this all combined. So this is here, if I go on this file too, then 30, 14 and it has two rows and file one has 11 rows and after applying union, now you can see total is now 13. So this is here, file one table records are there. So this, tell this one, this is the file two, file one and this here, 30, 14, this is file two. Now we can combine multiple or table there or multiple files. So importing another file name file 3. It has uh, three rows are there and now you can see three columns. So this here let's click. Now you can see or uh, not this one we need to select file 3 3 columns and 3 rows are there now after that going to union and this place I'm going to include file 3 so all files here are same number of columns so now you can see this time 16 so there this one is now 11 and file 2 has and this has 3 11 to 13 13 plus 3 14 so union table is now total or 16 rows returning now there is the one thing about the union function so this return or duplicate values also so here you can see this here 90 90 or sales 90 sales varying and here you can see 90 cents parent all here or duplicate times it's there okay so union function that return duplicate now thereafter I'm going to do some testing so testing like uh, different columns I'm going to I'm trying to combine different table files trying to come trying to combine so this times going to use here in EMP EMP so this has uh, totals 3 and plus uh, 5, 8 columns are there and uh, when I am trying to combine with the tables. 
union tables. So with union you can combine multiple tables. So let's use here EMP. Now if I press enter, so here I am getting the message each table argument of union must have the same number of columns. So same number of columns must be there for union. So we need to take only three columns. Here you can see error mark. The error mark is the reason is here EMP has uh, EMP has total not this one EMP. EMP has total eight columns, but file one, file two, file three, it all has three columns. So we need to take here uh, this uh, from EMP going to use only three columns. So for this one, let's write to other query. So this place, after comma, we need to write here, select columns. Select columns, then this place, let's use here EMP, our EMP or table. Then the next is, let's give here on the semicolon EMP num EMP number okay then after comma EMP then after rectangular bracket we need to give here EMP number then the next is let's do the separation by comma next here writing E name E name then here comma EMP and now you can see uh, a name that's compare. Next we're going to use here salary. So writing here salary then after comma EMP dot or uh, salary you can see sal that's come there. Now that's all looking fine there is no any problems there. Now if I press enter so this time there is no any problems. So from here EMP I selected only three columns. Okay, now you can see this here or uh, first table record, this is here second and this here total third table. So EMP you can see total is now 14. Okay, so this here 14, file one has 11, 14 plus one. So this is now 25, 25 plus 2, 27 and 27 plus 3, 30. If I go union tables, total is now 13 rows that's come there. So with the help of this select column, I selected only 3 columns from the EMP. And after selecting 3 columns, and now file 1, file 2, file 3 has the 3 columns. 3 columns, if the columns number are same, then you can do the union. So union or uh, if the columns are same then you can do the union and after that it's returning the required result. Okay, so union or drawback is so uh, there you can get here or uh, duplicate records on the union. It combines everything on the first table to your second table and the third table. So this is how we can do here. We can use union function in Power BI. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.